Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the easiest everyday smoky eye look. This video is going to be a little bit uh, different because I'm also going to give you here the outfit inspiration. Obviously, you can only see the top every time I get to do my makeup, but today I thought I should give you like an inspiration. This could be like office look. I don't know if I'm going to do this all the time, but Whenever I can and time allows me, I'm going to give you the outfit and then the makeup inspiration for that outfit. As usual, you will find all the details in my description box. So this is what we're going to talk about. The look that I'm wearing right now, it's super easy. Z and yeah enough talking before we get into this video please make sure that you've subscribed to my youtube channel click on the ring bell button if you haven't done it already now let's get into it before you apply anything on your face primer foundation take care of your lips use a lip balm i love this this is from sulwaso this should be your first step and you know why by the time you get to the lips which is supposedly at the end of your makeup they're gonna be nice and moisturized you're not gonna have like you know cracky lips this is a brand that i find in paris in one place like galerie lafayette and it's my second time purchasing this it's been a while since i haven't used this this is the by terry brightening cc serum great product great great product acts like a serum that is brightening and it because it comes in four different colors you know you could choose the one that is perfect for your skin tone i really hope that this shirt is not going to make a horrible noise you guys already know that these type of products that are very brightening are my favorite i mean honestly whenever i do my makeup i want my skin to look nice and bright and luminous in today's video, I'm going to use the Biotary Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation. This has SPF 30. And for this step, we are going to get closer. This is not a first impression video. I've used this before. I've actually used only this foundation for the past, I don't know, 10 days. It has quickly become like among my favorites. And I'll show you and explain why. First of all, let's just take one moment to appreciate this beautiful glowy skin. I love it one of the things that i love the most about by terry is that first of all i love the founder and second of all i love how they fit to everyday needs of all women all over the world nothing is very complicated and their products are pretty they're just beautiful now this foundation is really going to give you that flawless skin it will without making it look like cakey dry weird like it's amazing you have to shake it really really well it's a very liquidy foundation comes with this pipette i don't know how you call this in english pipette i guess and i'm gonna put two drops on my face this is in the color 3w and then i'm going to take a damp beauty sponge this is actually from by terry when they sent me the foundation they've also sent me the sponge i'm using it with their sponge because you know since the brand sent me this foundation with a sponge i was thinking okay maybe this is how you're supposed to use it you know maybe this is how they recommend i'm going to apply this foundation on half of my face and let you guys see the difference up close it's very long lasting it's super lightweight it's the kind of foundation you do not feel it on your skin i mean even alex likes this foundation uh, on my skin he is very picky a lot of times i would have him telling me like this foundation is too powdery or i can see this foundation on your skin all right ladies this is one side with the hyaluronic hydra foundation it's so beautiful it feels in the fine lines it's incredibly velvety, perfect. Like if you don't like a greasy, kind of like too dewy foundation, but still you want that lightweight, thin texture, like a feather on the skin, you are going to love this. This is available in 15 shades. Check out the difference. So no foundation. It's true that, you know, on this side, I didn't have any like imperfections like this, but still 
I like to use a color that's slightly warmer. I have to admit on, on this side, you could tell that I'm a little bit more neutral. I have no self tan. So I would say that 300 would be my color in terms of tonality. So it's the right tone. I love to use a warm undertone, but my real undertone is actually neutral. I just prefer to use a, a warm. So this is a warm, 300 warm the color just so you guys know yeah i'm gonna apply it all over all right now this is the foundation applied all over the face it didn't cover completely like the imperfections that i had right here but that doesn't bother me i am not the kind of person that wants to have like nothing like no imperfection peeking through their foundation next is the jouet essential high coverage liquid concealer and this is such a great such a great concealer since we started to use the sponge for the foundation i'm gonna move on with the same for my concealer squeeze it a little bit to get in the inner corner of the eye now it makes sense for me to use the bitery hyaluronic tinted hydra powder this is the most natural looking powder i've ever seen in my entire life you apply it it's invisible it will take a little bit of that shine it will set the makeup but it's not a mattifying powder like it's not going to be great if you have oily skin but for dry dehydrated uh, skin or to be used under the eyes it's amazing so i'm using the color number one hakodo kokutan brush is back can you see this like invisible there is such an amazing powder again this is not going to make your makeup last much longer it's not a super mattifying powder, in my opinion. Use it a little bit on the chin. You know, just the T-zone, basically. This is Nude Sticks in Nudie's Bloom, all over dewy color. And I loved this color. It's in Cherry Blossom Babe. You've got, on one side, this cute brush. I think I've missed the... I think this went here and the other one went here and i got confused and then most of the product is inside this is the color it's really pretty i've applied a bunch on the back of my hand okay now i'm going to take it with a classic cheek brush this is from the sonia g collection and let's build those rosy cheeks so nice you guys let's see from the front nice you know sometimes it changes the color when you turn your head did you notice that Quick swipe on the bridge of the nose. This just makes everything, I don't know, just come together. When you apply a little bit of blush in here, it makes it look like you just come from jogging, you know? Gives you a fresh look. And then the same I do for the brow bone, but literally just a touch. 18 brush from a rougher and Chanel Soleil Tint de Chanel, a bronzing base that I've been using for the past, I don't know, six, seven years. If you still find this in the store, you're lucky. This uh, looks like this. It's a beautiful color. And I apply the bronzing base a little bit like just a little bit under and like sort of mix it with the blush. Warming up the skin. This is not really a contour. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. It would be really weird to have bronzer like on your cheeks, on your forehead, and then the nose, which is actually the first thing that gets tanned, to be like completely white, like untanned. You know what I mean? Just done the eyebrows and I was using the Glossier Brow Flick. My eyebrows never looked as good as they do when I apply this product. It's unbelievable. I love this. If you guys don't know this product, I'll put a link with a video where I talk in detail about it and I show you how I use it. It's just amazing. Now, moving on with these pencils from Clarence. Now, I've just received these pencils and I was thinking as I was testing the colors, I was thinking, wow, like this is such a great alternative for people who love to contour their eyes with like black or brown because this is, you've got gray, you've got like a purple, you've got a blue, but they're not strong colors they're not very saturated colors which i know that a lot of you are afraid to use so if you want to use and if you want to incorporate a little bit more color in your makeup routine then i think these are just amazing and 
I'm going to show you like, you know, the title of the video says this, the easiest and like everyday smoky eye. And of course you could interpret this in multiple ways. Let me first show you the colors that I have. So you understand what I mean. All right, ladies, these are the colors and I just love them. As you can see, there is a lot of pigment. It's not like there is no pigment, but the colors are not in your face. We're not talking about an electric blue, a super saturated plummy or violet. Like I, I think that I'm going to use this one in the middle, the aubergine, the plummy kind of color, because I think that this is something that a lot of people would love and it, uh, it will suit to so many eye colors. It will work amazing with hazel eyes, green eyes, brown eyes even blue eyes. So let's get started. These are retractable pencils. On the other side of the pencil, you will have a little sponge to blend the product with. Maybe you want to use it, maybe you don't, but you know, I'm here to tell you about it. And then it also has a tiny little sharpener, right? To make sure the tip of your pencil is always nice and sharp. Anything you apply at the base of your lashes, you have to make sure there's like really, really close to those lashes, like in between them. Then I take a Sigma E32 brush and I'm smudging this. Don't go too high, else the this product will go up to your crease or it really depends on the shape of your eye. If you have a lot of space right here, maybe you can make this line thicker so you can really, really, really play with the shape. I could tell you that so far I love, love the consistency of this pencil because it seems like it's a long lasting one, but in the same time, it does give you the opportunity to blend it, which Normally it doesn't really happen with this type of product. I've applied another layer and again, I blend it. Ah, oh, beautiful color. This is like the perfect makeup. I'm applying mascara and I'm out the door, right? Like this is how easy this is. I love it. Let's do the other eye. All right, the other eye is done. Now I'm going to take this same brush, take a little bit of this pencil on the brush, okay? This is easier for blending purposes. And because my eyes are so deep set and I've got like super small eyes, in order to make them look a little bit more open, I need a little bit of shadow in the crease and then like right at the lower lash line. And you see me using this trick all the time. This is where it works for my eye. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this product in the crease. Make sure I blend it. As you can see, now the color is not as obvious, like just a wash of color, which is exactly what I was looking for. Now what's left, I give this winged line a little bit more smokiness. What do we know about smoky in general? We know that smoky eye means like black or like gray. It doesn't have to be like that. Smoky eye means you start with the darkest color at the base of your lashes and then you create a gradient towards the eyebrows. And this is exactly what we did, but on a much smaller scale. Like we didn't do the whole eye, just at the base of the lashes. Now, I think I'm going to apply this directly on the lower lashes. Guys, this color is just incredibly beautiful. I mean, obviously you don't need to do this, this winged shape. You could just stop right here, you know, create more of a round eye. I do like the elongated look. Let me just try to get out of my idea that this is the only type of makeup that looks good on me when I have that shadow in the crease. Let's just, I've took that away, okay? I've took that away, <sighs> took a deep breath. You can do this, Andrea. Okay, now um, we have like classic elongated smoky eye. Let's move on with the second step, which is eyeshadow. I'm going to use one of these palettes from Fenty Beauty. Did I show you this before? I mean, if I haven't, what have I done with my life? I mean, these are fantastic, fantastic. You got six colors. I think they're 25 euros if you get one, but then if you get two of them, they are 45 euros. So you get a little discount. If you get two of them, you could stock them together. I remember I showed you this before, haven't I? 
So here's what it looks like with the two of them stacked together. I love these. Amazing colors, amazing pigment. Very different than the Moroccan Spice palette. My favorite is this one, which is going to be shocking for you because I don't really use colors. I keep this in my kit and you know why? Like use any pencil, like purple, reddish, gold, green, whatever you want. Use it at the base of your lashes and then go on with a matching eyeshadow from this. Bam, you have super like modern, sexy, undone kind of a makeup, which I love. Um, I think modern makeup is all about not creating like a perfect <laughs> lines and like perfect skin. It's more like perfect and perfect, you know? This is so pretty. It's so pretty. I love this color right here. But then number six is also so very nice. This is pretty, right? It will go so well with what we have on on the eyes. Let's do this one. Let's try this one next to it. Not bad. I'm telling you, not bad. Now, this is a brush from NARS. And I'm going to take from number six palette, Fenty, this color right here. This is called Patty Kekaz. NARS brush. And then apply the eyeshadow on top of um, the pencil that we just used. These eyeshadows are so nice, like with a very pretty satin finish. I'm just taking a little bit more of that eyeshadow, plain blending brush. So just make sure this is pretty seamless blended. Now I'm going to take this color right here with a refer 02 brush and have it in the inner corner. This is a nice color, you guys. Even the one that I'm using in the inner corner, it's just so pretty. You know what you could do? You could also apply this same color from the inner corner a little bit on the center of your eyelid so when you blink it creates this beautiful hollow effect which is very subtle we're going to use the fenty beauty mascara i remember i showed you guys this one it has a very interesting brush it goes flat on one side and the way you want to apply the mascara is with the fat side up like you see so you lift them with mascara, everything comes together nicely. What do you guys think? I love the eyes. I love how like effortless they look. And they really were like, what do we do? We use two eyeshadows and a pencil. I mean, it's so beginner friendly. This makeup is so accessible for everybody in terms of like technique. Cause obviously you don't have to use the exact same products that I use. Maybe you already have the pencil. Maybe you already have an eyeshadow at home, but you could just use a bronzer. Now guys, I'm going to use a little bit of foundation. So I took that lip balm off and I'll use a little foundation for my lips because you don't have to do this. Like, so my lips are very, very pigmented. And a lot of times you don't get to see the color of the lipstick having such pigmented lips. So I'm going to just cover them with a little bit of foundation so you get to see the real color. 10 minutes later and my hand looking like this, trying to look for that exact color that I want to use. And it turns out it might be this one. This is from a brand called Kiss New York. And the color is Peanut Brittle. Because I wanted a matte lip. This might not be it. I needed like a beigey color. I didn't want any pink on my lips. And obviously needed to be matte. All right, next thing is highlighter and I'm gonna use the RMS Magic Luminizer. You could use this every day. It's a clean brand, cruelty-free. I just take it with my finger and look how pretty this is. It has the nicest color that looks like, you know, like your skin is doing, not like your skin is highlighted with a product. So with my finger going on top, isn't this so incredibly beautiful? Sides of the forehead, I love the most. Like, I feel like I have to use it. It's just so pretty and sexy. And even for the day, you know, like, it still looks amazing. It's not like it's too much. A little bit on the bridge of the nose as well. Okay, now, next step is not, like, mandatory, but I love to use a setting mist. Especially when, you know, I leave the house. Most of the times I do a makeup look, and then I go take pictures and then take it off 
that happens 95% of the times. So I've got to be honest with you. But whenever I go out, which is going to happen today, I like to use a setting mist. I like this continuous setting mist. It doesn't make like a huge difference, but if you, for example, applied maybe a little bit too much powder, it's going to sort of melt the powders on your skin, just give a very dewy, very fresh look. I don't know. I just feel like it. everything comes together when I use this. All right, now, this is the final look. Maybe I could put my hair down. I don't like a very done kind of hairstyle. I love it. It's so, like, everyday makeup. It could be everyday makeup. Do you guys agree? And it was easy. It was simple. What do you guys think? Like, please comment. I want to know your opinion about this look. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I want you to have this YouTube channel as your source of inspiration, like everyday inspiration for, um, you know, if you want to do a smoky eye, like an easy everyday smoky eye. Uh, I, Andrea, I want you to teach me how to do like a five minutes uh, perfect lip. You know, I'm, I'm leaving work. I want to go to this meeting with my colleagues or whatever, cocktail party, whatever. Um, uh, I want to do a lip. I want to look good. How to transform the day to night. You guys help me to help you. Let me know what would you want from me? What techniques, what colors, what's your challenge in makeup? I want you to have everything in here in one place. So, Please leave me a comment. Don't forget that every single product that I've mentioned is in the description box, including the outfits, jewelry, and my nail polish, because I know a lot of you are always curious about nail polish, and I, I, I never have any idea, but now I have like a just a regular nail polish, so check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please like, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the ring bell button, follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.